everyone i welcome you all in this class for grade 7 science and in today's class we are going to talk about chapter 15 light we all know that humans are made up of many organs and each of them performs specific functions sensory organs are one of those they help us to feel taste hear smell and see these sensory organs involve skin tongue ears nose and eyes to feel taste hear smell and see respectively and in today's discussion we are going to know about how do we see through our eyes so how does it happen we always see the objects when the light enters through our cornea which is present inside our eyes after being reflected from the object how you can relate it look at the image on your screen the sun is the source of light which is allowing its light to go in the form of rays and fall on the flower after falling on the flower these rays are being reflected and the projection of flower is being presented in our eyes and this way we see the object so we can say that the light has two main properties the first property is that it travels in a straight line and this is called rectilinear propagation it is a phenomena associated with light and this also helps in the formation of shadow you must have seen when you keep a source of light and we put an opaque object in between the path of the light it forms the shadow and the light does not pass through the object in the same direction another is reflection reflection is a property of light which happens when light falls on a surface and bounces off the surface this process helps us to see the objects this reflection depends on two main things the type of surface and surface of reflection so if we talk about the type of surface We all know that all types of surfaces reflect light. That is why we can see them. When light from the sun or any source falls on an object, we are able to see the object just because of reflection from these surfaces. So, here we refer the smooth surface as the regular surface and a rough or wavy surface as an irregular surface. In short we could say a regular surface reflects a parallel beam of light incident upon it in only one direction whereas in a regular reflection a parallel beam of light incident on it is reflected in all directions reflection by a regular surface is referred as regular reflection whereas the reflection by the irregular surface is called irregular or diffused reflection another thing the mirrors the mirrors which are used for the reflection of light are categorized into two categories the curved mirrors or the plane mirrors the curved mirrors are bent either outwards or inwards whereas the plane mirrors are simply straight they are not bent at any place the curved mirror are a part of sphere that's why they are considered as the spherical mirrors also they are categorized into two categories concave mirrors and convex mirrors a spherical mirrors in which the reflecting is in the inner surface of the sphere is called concave mirror whereas a spherical mirror in which the reflecting is the outward surface of the sphere is called convex mirror how it is different from the plane mirrors so basically the plane mirrors are any smooth polished surface that can reflect the rays of light and form a clear image here a plane mirror produces an upright and virtual image make the point note that the image formed by a plane mirror is a virtual image but not real the image of the same size as that of the object 
and the distance of the image formed from the mirror is equal to the distance of the object in front of the mirror. The image in a plane is always laterally inverted here. But in the spherical mirrors, because the convex is bent outwards and the concaves are bent inwards, they perform different properties. The concave mirror are enlarged image formation. But in convex mirror, the images are diminished, means they are smaller than the object. In concave mirrors, the image gets smaller as the mirrors and the distance of the object keeps on increasing. But in convex mirror, it depends on the situation, whether the distance is increasing or decreasing, it gives different result in both the situations. The image formed by the convex mirror is always an upright image but in concave mirror it may differ as per the situations. Where do we use these different types of mirrors? The concave mirrors are used for shaving and makeup because they give you very minute highlights. In dental care also the dentists use these concave mirror in the car headlight these concave mirrors are used too what are the uses of convex mirror these convex mirror shows a wide range of view with the smaller virtual images and that is why they are used in security cameras some types of spherical lenses now lenses are a bit different features than the mirrors a lens is a curved and polished piece of glass or any other transparent material. Just like mirrors, they can also change the direction of propagation of light. They are of two types, again convex and concave lens. A convex lens is a lens that bulges in the middle and is thinner at the edges. Whereas a concave lens is a lens that is thinner in the middle and smoothly increasing in thickness at the edges. Another place where we found the convex lens is spectacles used for reading glasses. But the concave lenses, they are used in the spectacles of negative powers. Here you will see the images where do we use the convex lens and the concave lens in a variety of range. Now let's talk about the prism and one more thing that the light. This light which is being reflected or moving in a straight line is made up of many colors. And to see its color the formula of dispersion of light is used. The white color of the light can be consecuted in seven color band and that band is called spectrum. Because here only the seven colors are seen by human eyes so we call it as visible spectrum because we can see it. These components of light are violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. The same colors you see on a rainbow as well when the tiny droplets of water works as prism. Now what is a prism? This must be your first question. So prism is a surface area enclosed with mirrors from three sides which is actually allowing the light to pass through it and break down the colors of light into its constituent colors. Newton disc is another example to show that the white color light is made up of seven colors. This disc is painted with seven different colors. It was discovered by Mr. Isaac Newton and he has shown when we are rotating this seven color disc in a very high speed after some time it appears to be of white color and this is because of a property of eyes called persistence of vision 
So this is Mr. Isaac Newton. He was born in England and had worked in the various fields of physics and mathematics and has discovered the Newton's disk which is used to show that the seven constituent colors are coming from the white light or the white light is made up of seven constituent colors of it that we can see on a band which is called spectrum and this is visible that's why we call it as visible spectrum as well. So that's all for the day. I hope you understood what is light, how does it work and what are the different properties of it. So that's all for the day. Thank you. Have a nice day.